Jesus is talking about the kingdom of God, and it's tempting for me to think what he's talking about is some distant kingdom far away in the clouds. But that isn't it. He's talking about the conversion of the heart. So what is the kingdom of God? Well, it's the life of Christ. How does that work in our lives? Well, it starts small, like the smallest seed. But when it's sown in good soil, it grows into a large tree. The thing is, when you're watching a seed grow, unless we're talking about bamboo, well, there's not a lot going on. I mean, it's, it's pretty dull at first. We landscaped our backyard last year. Now, our hope was to put in some tall trees along the back fence to give a little privacy. The problem is, tall trees are expensive, so we put in short trees. Little, tiny Italian cypress. They were like two feet tall. We planted at the hottest part of the year, and so the trees all started to look like they were gonna die, and it was actually sort of depressing. But we planted them well, and we watered them right, and they grew, slowly. Actually, they got shorter first, and then they grew. A little over a year later, and they've grown to about six feet tall. There wasn't a specific day that they shot up, but almost unnoticed by us, they just kept growing. So that now, they're almost unrecognizable as the same trees. See, the kingdom of God in our lives is like that. Invite Christ into your life, and that moment will feel earth-shattering. Planting seeds is earth-shattering. Literally, you break the ground to do it. But once the seed is in the ground, well, it isn't very impressive at first. If you've been to a retreat or a camp or a conference and you left thinking that that weekend changed everything, but then you got home and realized that everything hadn't changed yet, you know what I'm talking about. But seeds, seeds have a way of growing. So does the kingdom of God. Water it, feed it, and a seed will reach for the sky. It'll break the ground again. It'll push the soil out of the way. Well, if you feed the life of Christ in you, it will do the same thing. All right, sometimes it feels like conversion is hard work. Like we have to make it happen, but we don't. We don't make the kingdom of God grow in us any more than a farmer makes a seed grow. The seed is a life all its own. All the farmer does is feed it and water it. So the kingdom of God in our life is like that. It's the life of Christ. We can't make it grow. What we can do is cooperate with it. Feed it through study and prayer. And when we do that, what happens is that one day, we look back on the weekend or the day that changed everything, and we see that while everything didn't change in an instant, over time we became something new. And looking back at that seed of faith that began in us, it's almost like we're unrecognizable. The kingdom of God is like the smallest of seeds, but then it grows and it grows, and it's already begun in you.